Hi, this is Travis with Two the Brothers Adventures. I'm going to do a, a new video. Um, I did a previous video on my survival pack, and uh, since then, using it and that, I've uh, changed some things up, and I also changed the, the system that I had before. So um, I picked up this new pack um, that you can see uh, that I'm wearing. It's made by Stat Pack. It's actually uh, it's the Traverse Pack. It's actually um, a medical uh, pack that's used. Um, I like this pack. Um, I looked for, uh, through a lot of them on the Internet and that, and the reason I chose this one is because it's uh, big enough to carry all the stuff that I want. Um, I can wear it, but also I like that it's a drop um, a pack. That way when I have my backpack on and I have my hip belt and things like that, or my gun on or whatever I may have, this doesn't interfere with anything on my belt. So um, I'm going to go ahead and sit down here at the table and go through everything in my pack. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go through my survival pack. Um, this pack has a main compartment and then an outside zipper pocket. So in the outside zipper pocket of my survival pack, um, I keep uh, this waterproof um, container um, full of uh, cotton balls and petroleum jelly. Right now um, it's depleted as you can see. Um, I keep this on the outside. I believe in using everything in my survival pack when I'm out. So any of the fires and things like that that I've started, the things we've been playing around with today, I've been actually using these. So I replenish and restock these and that's why you see some are missing today. We've been doing some other videos with fire. But whenever I go out, I make sure that's full. And then I also have in here um, my uh, fire striker, my uh, light my fire fire striker. And then um, in the front pocket, I also have um, one, two, three, five zip ties. So zip ties are handy to use uh, from anything from tourniquets to repairing things or whatever. They're light, um, strong, and really easy to carry. So that's what's in the front pocket. Actually, I take that back. I forgot I put it. I also have this uh, little teeny uh, signaling mirror that I have in the, the front pocket. I, I actually just found this. Um, I liked how thin and compact it was, and I threw it in there. So I forgot that I even put it in there, but that's in the front pocket. And then one of the things I really liked about this pack, and my, another reason I chose it, is uh, when it, it's a drop pack, when it falls open, it falls open at a, a, an angle and there's these uh, built-in uh, pieces that catch it from um, falling all the way open. So all the content in that doesn't dump out when I open it up. So um, inside here, right away, on the, one of the zipper, on the zipper I have um, my little micro light, flashlight, so um, you probably can't see that during the daytime, but a little micro light. And then this zips open. Uh, the mesh pouch, if you can see in there, and inside that pouch, I carry. Um, this is uh, 50 feet of paracord. Paracord's great for in a survival pack um, because you can take it apart. Uh, there's seven strands inside of here um, that you can use. So uh, this 50 times seven, you know, you can get a lot of rope um, out of this if you want to take it down to that level. It's also very strong for the, the size. And then I also um, I have in there um, my Boda water straw. So This, uh, this cartridge and the straw goes on, you can dip this in any kind of water and uh, drink through this straw and this removes all the contaminants and things like that. If I need to drink out of a stream or out of a puddle or anything like that, this will remove all of the, uh, the bad stuff out of the water so I can drink it safely. So I carry that in there. And then I uh, carry dental floss. Um, this is uh, 55 yards of dental floss. Dental floss can be used uh, um, for different lashings and things like that. It's pretty strong. You get a lot of uh, cordage in a little, whoa, a little amount of space. So. That's in there, and that's it for the front compartment. In the top compartment here, um, in this this case, I have my first aid kit. So I'll go through the contents of my first aid kit and what I carry um, inside of there in my survival pack. Um, the first thing I have in here is a little sharpie, and in the bottom of this, I have some fluorescent um, uh, index cards. So uh, you carry a sharpie and index cards because if I'm ever lost or things like that. Um, I carry fluorescent cards, that way if I need to write a note or a direction I'm traveling or things like that, if someone's looking for me, um, they stand out in nature because they're really bright. So when I get to those, you'll see those. But I carry a Sharpie because it's uh, waterproof, good for writing, uh, things like that. Um, I carry this little um, whistle, so pretty loud, little teeny whistle. Um, I have a, a secondary backup um, fire starter. I, this is my primary. Um, this is my secondary. It's uh, the uh, spark light. So I carry that in there. Um, it's inside because I don't use it that often, but in case that one fails or is lost, I have a secondary. Because in any survival situation, obviously, um, you know, fire isn't very important. Um, I also carry as a backup fire to my cotton balls, one wet fire. Um, these are great. They can be lit, uh, you know, when wet, things like that. And we've showed those in some of our other videos. So that's my backup fire. Um, this is a really old tin I had, but this is where I carry uh, the medication or things like that that I carry. Um, inside of here, I have 10 butterfly bandages. 
Um, butterfly bandages are, uh, I think, are important with uh, knives and things like that. If you get a nice cut, uh, you know, they're replacement for stitches until you can get into uh, some place. But I carry an assortment of medication out in the field. Um, I carry some Advil, some Tylenol, um, some Excedrin migraine, and then uh, I also have Benadryl in here. Um, we're out a lot of times with our kids in that, and if they have an allergic re reaction or uh, some of them never been, you know, exposed to certain things, uh, it's important to have uh, Benadryl. So that's some of the medication I carry in my survival kit. Then I uh, have a couple band-aids, not a lot. Um, I, I really pared this down from my other kit. Um, I only have two band-aids in here. I figure if I'm in a real survival situation uh, and I get a little cut, I'm not going to be too worried about it. So um, I took out a lot of the, the, the band-aids I had before. Uh, and then I have um, some alcohol wipes for disinfectant and then some uh, burn cream in case uh, I get a burn. Then I have a good old P38 um, can opener. Um, these have been around since forever. Um, well, I think World War II, I believe, World War I, whatever, um, but a, a hand can opener. The important thing is, is uh, why I carry this is that if I'm ever in a survival situation or whatever and um, I'm out in the woods and I come upon a cabin or something like that and, and I'm surviving for my life and I, I get in there and there's canned food or something I have to get into, um, you know, this will this will open cans. So it's, it's next to nothing. That's why I carry that. And now the ones can blow away all my stuff. And then here's the fluorescent index cards. Uh, I have quite a stack of them in here. They take up no room. There's probably about 20 of them in here, um, so you can see those. And then last but not least is a little teeny, um, I don't know if you can see that, a pair of tweezers. Uh, we live in the desert, so um, we encounter a lot of cactus, and um, you know, you get into a cactus, it just causes a lot of pain and irritation, so I carry tweezers with me to be able to uh, pull those out. So that's what's in my uh, little first aid kit that's in the top. And then I have one more compartment, so I'll go through the last compartment um, and open it up. Um, I carry a, a flashlight, um, an LED flashlight, uh, it's a double A. Um, this thing uh, is really bright at night, um, in addition to the little micro one I have, and then I carry a spare battery for that, so if I was out at night, I have quite a bit of light, um, that'll last a long time. Um, I carry um, some uh, lip stuff, whatever you call it, uh, chapstick. Um, this is also SPF 15, so um, carry that in there. This is uh, sunscreen. Um, so we live out here, especially in the desert, we're out in the desert a lot, so if we're out in the daytime and things like that in a survival situation, sunscreen is really important to, uh, to protect you from the sun. And then I also have some um, bug spray. Okay, and then um, I have uh, about three feet of duct tape in here. Um, that's uh, got the backing on it so you can peel this off. This is important for repairs of any kind. It can also be used as a bandage, a bandage on cuts or things like that. There's just lots of uses for duct tape and uh, so I carry that in here. And then uh, of course I carry an emergency blanket. Uh, we showed in our other video this can be used as a, a sh uh, top to a shelter uh, for waterproofing or if it's cold it can be used to, uh, you know, as a survival blanket for heat and things like that. Um, I carry, uh, this is about two yards of aluminum foil. Um, we were originally skeptical and we didn't think this would work, but we actually showed in some of our other videos where you can make um, bottles, or I mean uh, bowls out of, and boil water over fire and stuff with aluminum foil. So this is the heavy duty stuff. Um, so I carry about two yards of it. And then the last thing I have in here is a, a, another signaling mirror, um, a big uh, full size signaling mirror. Um, also, uh, we got a comment in one of our other uh, videos, too, about mirrors, that it's a good idea to carry, too, and you, you see I threw this other one in here. That way, if you get injured sometimes or uh, things like that, if you have two mirrors, you can, you know, look behind your back if you get injured on the back or something like that and uh, see see how you're injured or, or whatever. So, um, they take up no space or if one gets broke. This is actually a glass mirror. This is a plastic mirror, so I have uh, the two mirrors. So that's uh, my review of my survival pack and um, the, the, the stat pack, traverse pack, which um, uh, I picked up online I really like a lot. So this is Travis with Two Brothers Adventures. I'm saying, you know, uh, like I showed, I kind of have revised my, from my original survival pack. Get out, use this stuff, and, um, you know, enjoy the outdoors.